Throne Fall is a kind of tower defense type thing. I've played it before. It was pretty fun. And they just added a new map. So I'm going to play the new map. The ice map was really, really hard. That was not an easy map. Unless you're a skilled gamer, then it was probably easy. I am not a skilled gamer. Choose your loadout. I forgot what all of these do. I like the art style. Yeah, the art style is good. It's got a charming little song playing. Uh, Royal Mint sounds good. And uh, Arcane Tower sucks. I do remember the Arcane Towers was not good. I remember that. Your units and buildings deal 40% more damage to enemies, but your own damage is less effective. That sounds kind of worth it, honestly. Does that not sound worth it? The upgrades are already unlocked. Okay, that that's good too. I'll use that one. And don't use mutators. Mutators are mutators make it too hard. That's how you modulate the challenge in this game. You turn on mutators. But the challenge is pretty tough already without them, so... All right, let's see. What's this new map? It looks like we're going to be assaulted on all sides immediately. Spearman, 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 Spearman. Sword guys, sword guys, sword guys. This game is real easy on the eyes. This map is good. It's like a Windows XP background map. All right, where does the castle go? Is this the castle? Okay, yeah, the castle goes here, I guess. Is this like the whole map just funnels to like one choke point? Hang on, is this the best map ever? You're watching single choke point gaming. Tune back in for I will never get defeated gameplay. Hmm. I guess I just throw down some towers. What is this? Hero unit, that's new. Choose a powerful hero, the golem. The support mage. He heals you and absorbs magical projectiles. Very sturdy unit. Oh, he's sturdy. I got to buy the sturdy guy. Look at my sturdy golem, dude. The guy's totally sturdy. Right, where's a barracks? Income. Oh, yeah, I do need income. Income is good to have. I think I can kill the first wave myself. It is like a million guys, but I have a sturdy golem. So I should be fine. I'm really setting myself up for some hubris, yeah. Mobius SP, thank you for subscribing. The best special weapon in Ace Combat is the XMA times 4 or times 16, whatever it is. The missile that shoots a million missiles at once. I don't know what the highest one of those you can have on a Raptor in Ace Combat 4 is. Whatever one that is, is my favorite. Begin the battle. Yeah, they're so far away. They're so far away from my town, they got no chance. They can't pass my sturdy golem. I got two towers as well. The towers are also sturdy. Yeah, they gotta come all the way around, dude. They gotta come from downtown. Or uptown, rather. Uptown, Spearman. You cannot penetrate my defense. Oh my god, the sturdy golem, dude. You punched him. The sturdy golem just got rid of them. That was pretty good. He made it quick work of them, as we say in the biz. Okay, we just got a little bit of a soldier attack coming in from the top here. And we got a little bit of an archer attack. That's just archers. Who cares about them? They don't have, like, a secret way to get up here, right? They can't, like, use the beach. I can use the beach. Builds a fishing boat every morning. Each boat generates one gold per day. That sounds kind of worth it. It could be five gold per turn. Is there a way to view the turn list yet? Two of 12. Okay, there's 12. I mean, that sounds really worth it for the gold investment. Although enemies can attack that, so... Might have to defend it a little bit. I kind of want to keep building around the castle where it's safe. Melee units. Are these all barrackses? That's a house right there. I'll get a barracks. I want the spear guys. They're cool. And on these, I want the sword guys. And what button commands? X commands. Okay, there we go. Units. To the front. I wish your king yelled, Units! That'd be good. 
Can I build a tower or is a tower three? A tower is three. Okay, no tower for me. Sturdy Golem, come here. Can I order the Sturdy Golem to come over here? Yeah, I can. Come here, buddy. Boy, do I got a place for you. Get sturdy on him. Still got two gold to spend. I'm looking for a house. There we go. Real estate purchased. Right trigger toggles fast riding? Yeah, I'm fast riding. This is the fast. This is the slow. Here we go. Bring it on, armored knight. You cannot face my sturdy golem. Do you have any idea how resilient this man is? His resiliency is the stuff of legend. I oh, wanted the spearmen to die. When your guys die, they respawn, but they gotta run back to the battlefield. But they don't respawn if the building gets killed. So you gotta make sure your building doesn't die. Here we go. Good income. Good income. Okay, now it's flyers. I think these are like flying type enemies that are gonna attack me from the air. So if I can get like a like an anti-air tower right about there, it should be pretty good. Oh yeah, I gotta upgrade my castle. I forgot I gotta do that too. Oh no. Oh, hang on. What's this? Dude, free real estate. All right. Oh man, you can expand it big time. You can expand this hugely. This is huge expansion. Blacksmith. Another tower. Archery range. Is there a house? No, no house. I'll just build the other bridge. Screw it. How deep does this go? Do those also link here? Yeah, that links here too. Okay, wow. Okay, so you get, you get a nice little kingdom. This is good. This is a nice little fortress. This map's too easy. Activate hubris. Bane or thank you for subscribing. Here I go, subbing again. Thanks for the continued subscription. Bane or 93 is on an 18 month subscription record. They have been legally required by the court to subscribe 93 times as per the 93 in their name. So they're getting there, but it's taking a while. It's taking a little bit. All right, these guys suck. Do they even do anything? Oh, they're kind of like AC 130s. They just kind of sit there and go boom, 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 boom. All right, huge income. I got a huge income. Now we have attack from the south. All right, come on, loyal troops. We must defend the Southern Pass. I'm hoping I can get off with good behavior. Yeah, good luck. The court of Twitch subscriptions is not a merciful one. Should I build a... No, I should upgrade this. More character HP. More damage for my guy. Every house is auto-upgraded. Enemies to deal... Damage to you, take part of the damage themselves. I think the auto house upgrade is probably the best one. Although the character attack's pretty good, but I like auto house. 20 gold? Who has that kind of money? I'm not made of riches. And now that my castle is upgraded, I can build new towers. Or rather, upgrade the existing towers. Where's a good spot to build a home? I got two coins. Two coins is good home. Oh, I should have built a harbor there. That could have been big dividends as well. Keep that in consideration for next wave. Any good home spots? There's a lot of towers that can be built over here. I don't know if I like that, actually. I feel like that means the attack can come from the sea. They're going to, like, land on that beach and try to kill me. The most reasonable house for me to build is that one, I suppose. All right, loyal troops. Prepare for war. It is kind of a lot of guys coming from down here. And they got the archers. Oh, hang on. That's not good. That's not good for my melee-based society. We're more of a fan of uh, sword battles, not gun battles. Don't worry, my sturdy golem is sturdy. What the? That guy was, like, slowing me down. He can do that? Yeah, get back in here, Spearman. You're not done. Even in death you serve.
Alright, that was pretty easily vanquished. That was easier than playing the game Vanquish. Alright, we got 12 horsemen. Oh, yep, here it is. Here's the attack from the sea. There is going to be some horses, so watch out for them. But it looks like it's just a hornet invasion from the ocean. Yeah, it's a lot of hornets. I'm going to need those archers, I think. What does your bow special do? Oh, I forgot I even had that. It's probably pretty good. Hunters are effective against monsters? Yeah, hey, that's what's going to attack me right now. Perfect. All right, I got to get some anti-air defenses here. I wonder what the, like, tower to, uh, flying guy damage ratio is. Like, can one tower kill one monster before it dies? Not sure. I'll just tell the hunters to guard here. And, uh, the golem and troops, you guys can, uh, fight the knights as per the usual arrangement. Here you go. Good luck. As per our uh, previous agreement, yeah, I'll build the fishery. Why not? I right, now I got a lot of towers on the coast. I'm not too confident about this coastal wave. This is not my favorite. Here they come. Get them, towers. Please. There it is. Yeah, get them. Oh, they got small guys. Hang on. They got small guys. Hunters, kill those small guys. Oh, they're trying to kill my boat shack, you jerks. That's where I get fish from the sea. Oh crap, my towers are getting screwed. Oh yeah, the bow special is a melee attack, I think. I think I just did it. So not that great versus these guys. How's the uh, the knight's assault going? Are they getting through? I hope not. I pray their onslaught ends in tragedy. How did it go, guys? Oh wait, hang on. We're not done here yet. Don't get blasted, don't get blasted. Totally dodging these orbs, they got no chance. I'm kiting, I'm kiting. Go fly a kite. All right, good job. What is that, cannon? They got cannon? That's new, they didn't have cannons last time I played this game, that's not good. They get a gun? Come on, man, where's my gun? I wonder if it's a cannon or a mortar. A mortar would be terrible. Does that mean you have to like run out and get it? Can I get some horsemen? Some horsemen would be good because they got some speed. My ground troops ain't the fastest bunch. Also, since my dock got injured, I gotta rebuild it. Hmm. So that round was focused on the coastline defenses, but now I gotta worry more about a general attack. I don't know if the cannons can shoot from a huge distance. I have no idea what they do. I'm just gonna fortify the old uh, main outpost here. I really don't know. I'm like a real medieval king trying to fight a cannon for the first time. So the enemy has cannons. What? What is that? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> they they sound pretty strong though. They do sound powerful. Just listen to that word, cannon. Cannon. Oh, I didn't repair my boat shack. Oh man. Oh shucks. Does it auto-repair, actually? Because all I can do is uh, expand it. It might auto-repair after one night. I think it takes one night out of commission if it dies. I think. Listen, men. We must stop these cannons. These new devices. Maybe they did have cannons last time. Oh, it's not a cannon. What is that? It's like a droidica. It's like a rolling guy. I thought it looked like a cannon. It looked like a cannon. Oh, that's my barracks. Oh, I need that or my guys can't respawn. That's not good. That's quite horrible, actually. What are these things? Those dot, dot, dot things are tearing up my kingdom. Not the sturdy golem, though. He's fine. Master, destroy us. Oh, my God. Look how many there are. There's so many. I'm not sure my gate can hold. Uh... There's a bit of a massive amount. Come on, towers. Kite him, I'm kiting, I'm kiting. 
I gotta kite. Kiting is my only hope. Come on, guys. Don't you wanna attack me? Look, I'm the king. Oh, I have no health. I'm dead. That's bad. All right, towers, take him down. Oh, no, my house. Oh, no, my wealth. My wealth. I need that to be rich. Give me back my wealth. It's not for you. Maybe melee would be better on this map because there's big old chunks of guys. And I lose. Defeated. R.I.P. New record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have unlocked assassin training. All right. Oh, wait, I gotta change my loadout. Hang on. I gotta get a much better uh, melee weapon. I gotta get a melee weapon that goes and like an AOE type thing. Try once more. Uh, sword, slow melee attack, deals splash damage, big strike with larger radius, rapid melee, heal yourself. I think I wanna go sword. Sounds pretty good. Walls and towers have 70% more health. That's pretty good. But I do like that building option one that I have equipped already. All right, round two. First off is the sword, guys. Those guys can be killed pretty easily. Maybe I just start investing in towers that are, like, multi-purpose. Also gotta get that econ going. I got that econ. I didn't buy the golem. I don't think I need the golem this early on. I think with my new sword ability, I can win, right? Oh my god. The sword's pretty good. Slice him up. Yeah, the sword is much more active playstyle than the bow. I'm jungling, I'm jungling. All right, here they come, come on towers. Time to earn your pay. Ooh, big slam. Okay, this is a good weapon. Good weapon for this scenario. Especially for those destroyer droids that have a cannon icon but are robots. We'll be meeting them soon enough, I'm sure. Quite certain. What's up, Rombeard? Having some pizza? What kind of pizza are you having? Good pizza? Bad pizza? Yeah, I'm just having some bad pizza. It's really terrible. It's not good at all. Yeah, I think just making a infrastructure investment here. Is this good? 100% damage from your guy. If you manage to use your active ability just as the cooldown wears out, the cooldown's cut in half. That's pretty good. I think that's much better than the free house upgrade, to be honest. DiGiorno, so not great, but could be worse. Yeah, it could be worse. There are worse brands than DiGiorno. DiGiorno is not amazing, but it's fine. You know, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. A fine brand. A fine brand. Fine brand. Can you tell us how to make good pizza? Oh, I should do an investment in the economy. I got that econ, got those towers. I should have built the wall. Oh, well. A lot of shouldas in this game. Oh, they got spear guys? Hang on, that's not good. Kablam. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay. The spear guys can slow you down. The sword is very good versus the sword guy. But when you're fighting the spear guy, not so much. I might do that. It's pretty good. Oh, there, Archer guy? Oh, man, it's not good against him either. Uh, yeah, the sword is a great pick. There we go, no cooldown. Bring it on. There we go, no cooldown. Okay, if you can get the combo going, that's a pretty strong move. Just gotta get the combo going first. That's the issue. This dock is pretty safe. I'll use this dock. As one of my financial centers. Got to fortify our tower defense here. I'm basically a chump change. I can't really do nothing this wave, so my towers will have to carry. 
I think I have enough of them. I don't know, though. Can I distract them, actually? Will you aggro to me? No, they don't aggro to me. Yeah, they kind of do. But yeah, I can't damage them. I can aggro their shots, though. If I draw the shot aggro, they won't kill my towers fast enough to win. That's how you do it. Do you go by Mr. Shoes or Mr. Games? Uh, I go by Solomon, actually. Please call me Solomon at all times. It was a pretty mediocre performance by my old frontal cortex there. I was like, think of a random name. Think of like a random goofy name and Solomon's what I got. That's the best we can do is Solomon. Come on, brain. Wake up, brain. I mean, it's, it's not bad as like a goofy name, but it's not, it's, it could have been, that could have been way funnier. Swing and a miss. Still can't upgrade the castle. That's fine. That's fine. Do I want troops? Is troops even good? Is troops even a good thing to even get in this game? I just want a lot of like front defense for when those robots come. Get the wall going. I wonder if I build a new passageway, will the robots go down the other passage? Ah, uh, for just one time, I would take the robot passage. Solomon would not get hubris. Isn't Solomon like a smart guy? Doesn't he have like the proverbs or something? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, talk about hubris. All right, towers, you can do it. Hold them off. Dude, archers are brutal in this game. They don't, they give you no chance. They give you no chance. I can't get a word in. Uh, I'm the king of the realm, guys. Oh, they're killing my boat? Come on, man. I just built that boat. That's a nice boat. Oh, there we go. I got it in my royal decree. There it is. That was the royal decree right there. If I spawn in again, I can win. They killed the wall, it's fine, it's fine. Royal decree, yeah. Tis my divine right to rule. Got him. That was not great, it was a little sloppy. Not the greatest performance. Also, my econ is bad. And now the sea peoples come forth. I gotta upgrade that castle to build that new wall, but I can't afford that right now. This is a constant game of I can't afford that right now. That's what this game is mainly. Uh, do I want the archers? I feel like the hunters is a good choice because they can they can fight the uh, the robots too. If the robots count as a monster, which I, I I would assume they do, right? I mean, pretty monstrous in nature. They're not friendly. Solomon is the wisest man alive, but he got hubris. Wow, even the most wise guy gets hubris. What a punk. I will admit, I don't know much Solomon lore. Oh yeah, the knights, I forgot about them. Yeah, kill them, hunters, you can get them. The hunters also have a little bit of a melee, but not much. I should have told the hunters to actually stay at the base. Them being down here is not ideal. All right, yeah, good job, good job, fellas. You did it. Now come back and guard the town, please. Oh my God, they killed the towers. What the heck? They bypassed our defenses with ease, with a graceful ease, and they killed my hunter's respawn point, which is not good. Yeah, the disadvantage of the sword, guys. You can't fight flying units. Swords can't fly. Is this the only rogue light? you like I wouldn't call it a roguelite it's the same every time it's just, it's like a ta it's a tower defense is how I would say this is it's the same map and the same enemy waves each time and you have very limited building options no I, I don't I don't like a rogue what roguelite I don't I don't like that what no no okay here's the robot wave and I got 22 gold to spend 
How can a man with only 22 gold to his name possibly kill a giant army of killer robots? Blacksmith upgrades your units. Eh, I don't know how much they get upgraded by that. I'm not sure. Maybe I give him some targets here. Oh, you can build the exploding windmill. The exploding windmill is a good idea, actually. I could get him. It's got minor roguelite elements. Yeah, minor. They're real minor, though. They're real minor elements. They're, they're, not, they're not major. They're not major. Maybe a hero is good for the robots. Although the golem didn't do much versus the robots, did he? Also, the robots will just kill that tower because it's in their path. With nine coins, what do I do? Should I build a blacksmith upgrade, maybe? Maybe it's good. I don't know. I never used it. Three days to research. What? This sucks. It's plus 30% range damage after being researched for three days. That was not worth it at all. That was a ripoff. That was a huge scam. I got scammed big time. Boy, do I feel foolish. You ever played They Are Billions? Nah, I saw a gif of They Are Billions one time, though, which is basically the same thing as playing it. Pretty similar experience. Let's see, does my royal decree help against these guys? Kinda. It's kinda good. Hunters, stay, stay range hunters. This is the problem with hunters, is they run up to them. Don't run up to them. Royal decree. Oh, I missed the cooldown. Crap. Royal Decree. There we go. Royal. Keep him by the gate. By the gate. Decree. Yeah. There we go. Royal Decree. Ooh. Ooh. The king is earning his crown today. Royal Decree. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, guys. Hang on, guys. I gotta make a decree. I gotta make a decree. Yeah, don't don't kill the castle. I gotta make a decree real quick. I gotta make an announcement. I missed the cooldown again. Oh my god, there's so many robots. How do you kill this robot wave? How the heck do you beat this robot wave, dude? This is a crazy robot battle. Okay, we, we need to get it. We need to invest everything. You can bring plus one perk. Okay, that's actually huge. Yeah, roguelite element. Okay, another huge issue I have with this game, which I had last time as well. Is when you quit the default thing is try again. Con uh, going back to the main menu is called continue. That's my issue. That should be called return to menu and not be called continue. That's a UI gripe I have with this one. Because try to me, okay, to me, continue sounds like I'm gonna like play again and try again sounds like I'm gonna get to go back to the menu and get different stuff. And then it's, it sounds like it's gonna make me replay this map but also be able to re-equip stuff. That's what it sounds like, but it doesn't do that. And continue just sounds like you would just keep going. I don't think it would kill him to just have you be able to re-equip perks without having to back out into the menu. Maybe the spear? I'll try the spear. Faster horse. Units train faster. Walls and towers got more health. That could be it. I want that one. Do I want royal mint? I mean, it's okay. Three additional gold per day. It's just plus three gold max. Maybe I don't want it. Castle center has better defense. Free res. Early build options. Warrior mode. I'm going to go with Architect's Council. Although not having an economy is very bad. No econ is not good. Whenever I turn off that like initial gold buff, I really feel it in my pocket. Invest in econ in the beginning since you're able to clear the first waves by yourself. Yeah, I got I to gotta get the econ started so I can afford to buy good defense. You could have equipped one more. Oh yeah, I, have, I forgot I have three perk slots now. Oh well. You know what? It's worth it. It's definitely worth it to go equip three perks. I forgot about the roguelike element. What's this called? This is called Throne Fall. No XP? Come on.
Hey, what's the big idea? All right, now I got all three, perfect. If I could have like 10 perks, then I would totally win. Then I would have wealth beyond a measure. Yo, let's just get the econ going immediately. Uh, trying to solo it completely is a bad idea, though. I have one tower. I wonder if one tower is enough. Let's find out. Probably not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Yeah, the spear, I like the spear. Ooh, the spear is my favorite. Every weapon I use is my new favorite weapon. You dare face a man on horseback? I'll have you know I was trained by Peter Rossback. That'll strike fear into their hearts. I think his ultimate is a super stab flurry and he's invulnerable during it, which is pretty good. Pretty stylish. Can I have that flurry back? It'd be really good right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at the damage. Don't kill my tower, guys, I need that. That's my only one. That's my only one. It's the only one I got. It's all I got, and I don't wanna be alone. There we go. That guy, 7244, thank you for subscribing. The court has ordered you to 7,244 months of subscriptions, so... Fainor thought they had a bad. Whatever you do, don't get your case tried in the Oboshu's Courts District. It's not gonna end well. I'm the judge, jury, and executioner. Alright, this is an archer wave. I need a little bit more help versus the archer wave. Maybe I start building up the outermost defenses. I mean, it's worth it to have innermost and outermost. It's worth it to have multiple layers. The issue is you can't really do much like here. I wish this area right here had more stuff he could build. I got a decent econ. If I could build one more house, that'd be good. Do I gotta build it in the crappy spot, though? Did I build the house or the bridge? I'll build the crappy house. The fisheries are really good econ, but you gotta defend them. So I don't know if they're worth it, actually. Because so far, they've just been slain every time I've had one. All oh, the spearmen, they got me. They got me in their grass. Crap. Hate those guys. Fight the spearmen. Yeah, I'll take a stab at it. I feel like you need more outside defense instead of funneling everything straight to your castle. Yeah, the issue is I don't got enough money to do both strategies. Like, obviously you want to build more outside stuff, but then if all your outside stuff dies... Like, the problem with outside stuff... Welcome to, like, basic geometry. The, the issue is that, like, if you build stuff around your castle, then that means during every wave it's going to get to do stuff because everything conglomerates on the castle. But if I build a tower out here on the frontier... Like, it's good if the enemy comes from here, but if they don't, if they're coming from, like, the ocean, it can't do anything. That's why this is a pretty good game, because you gotta make choices. Choices, choices, choices. Who said, who made who made that famous gamer quote that, like, a game is a series of interesting choices? I think Miyamoto? Probably not Miyamoto. Sakurai? Oh yeah, I forgot about the ocean. I forgot about the ocean-born parasites that come in soon. I don't know if this will hold, honestly. I'm not sure. I'm not feeling too good about this. And distract the upper level. IDK, I think you're making bad choices. Yeah, it's all about choices, really. I keep choosing to lose. I should just choose to win. Dude, I should just choose to live, duh. I just watched Ahsoka and I already forgot. You can just choose to live. Duh. Anakin taught me that when he did his dumb little lightsaber behind the back twirl. But you can just choose to live? Oh, I wish I wish I would have known about that before I got killed in Star Wars. Dude, check it out. You can choose to live. Did you know about this? 
Qui-Gon should have chosen to live. Yeah, exactly. Why did he choose not to live? Is he stupid? All right, we got from downtown. Let's invest heavily in the frontier. Screw it. We're going to go with the wide strategy. Although, I need to be sure that the sea is ready. Because they're coming. I'm going to make them just archers. Because the hunters keep running in and meleeing. Which the archers won't do. The archers are smart. Because the hunters have melee. So they're like, dude, I'll go punch them. But they shouldn't. Or maybe they're just trying to get in range. I don't know. Yeah, Palpatine chose to live. He figured it out. He must have watched the Ahsoka show. All right, now the frontier is pretty heavily fortified. Now we got those outposts. I'm outposting? I'm outposting? Oh, boy. Those are some arrow barrages headed my way. Probably shouldn't have run in there. Not the smartest move. Get him, tower. A tower has fallen. My lord, a tower has fallen. My lord, a tower has fallen. My lord, a house has been destroyed. They need a Halo announcer in this game. A tower has fallen. Wave complete. Wave failed. Get him out of here, get him out of here. Oh. I'm getting perforated. I like that my guys are like a light blue color. It reminds me of Lego Knight's Kingdom. Where you get the chess set. Anybody remember the Lego Knight's Kingdom chess set that had like 20 blue guys? I always wanted that set, but I didn't get it. I wish Lego would do more chess sets that are like good like minifigure army builders. I think like every Lego theme should just have a chess set that comes with like a million guys to have a big battle with. That'd be good. Make it a battle pack. Make it a battle pack. All right, the outpost is looking pretty good. I mean, the front the frontier's got some defenses. The robo wave is after this. The robo wave is after this. I'm going to upgrade the archers. As you know, they can shoot. Upgrade the towers that are going to be most relevant to... I think that my top can win right now. I'm going to try to upgrade some towers that are relevant to the robo-wave, although I don't know how it's going. Is there a tower over here I can build? Yeah, make that one. I think I got enough crap around the tower. I mean, around the citadel so it won't fall. I think. I right, guys, stay there. Stay here. There we go. I figured out how to do it. I figured out how to make him stay in place. Good. Could you imagine Lego selling unpainted figures like Warhammer? I mean, they sell, they sell unbuilt sets. I gotta build the Star Destroyer? Come on. I gotta build the whole thing? I wish Lego sets came with an X-Acto knife and a... I, w I wish uh, Lego sets had those terrible Warhammer decal sheets that are impossible to apply correctly. They do. They have uh, sticker sheets, but those aren't as bad as the Warhammer ones. Forty K transfers suck. Yeah, they're not good. Really, all model building decals are just not great. They're so small. They don't got enough size. Okay, now it's the robo time. Can I just build a bunch of exploding windmills. Is that the strat? What the heck is this? I can just build this, dude. That's. Hang on. I could have had this the whole time. That's extremely useful. How many towers can I afford to put on the wall, though? I have. That's fifteen. Eighteen. I can afford three towers and a giant wall. I didn't know a giant wall was an option. I mean, that's that's the best investment I've ever made in my life, right? This is worse than the time I bought GameStop stock as a joke. 
Is it throne fall? Yeah, it's throne fall. Oh, it goes all the way around, dude. Well, that you need to, that's how you win. You gotta build that wall. Give him the old Trump special. All right, bring it on, robots. I'm no longer afraid of you because I have gates. This is so free, dude. What the heck? I didn't know it should have had a giant flashing red arrow. Like, hey, build this one. This is a good one to build. You should build this one. If only there was a way to build like a dam to stop an enemy boat from getting through. Oh, they killed a tower. I should have had the archers over here. They could have been doing some DPS. Oh well. Good job, towers. You served well, towers. You did some damage. Not a huge amount, but some damage. My real defenses start now, though, once they get over here. I'm not sure if the archers are in range, actually. They should move a little bit closer. I feel like right here. Yeah, there's good. What's up, Stall Bengal? Woo, Stall Bengal. Okay, they killed a tower, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They're confused. They're confused by how many targeting opportunities they have. I'm overloading their AI core. Never before had they had such a rich target environment. Alright, don't let them through, archers. Make sure they gotta... Don't let them through. Yeah, make sure they gotta kill the wall first. Don't open the door for them. This wall needs to be a little bit stronger. Uh, hey, wall, you wanna pick up the pace, maybe? You wanna pick up the pace of... Oh, God. Not good. Not ideal. This is bad. This is bad. This is not... This is not good. This is not good. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I will die defending my castle, which isn't much of a castle. It's just kind of like a Lincoln Logs cabin, and it died. How on earth do you beat these robots, man? These robots are crazy, guys. I mean, I like my perk setup, so I guess I'll utilize the try again button that I previously trash talked. Yeah, I think I got to kill those robots before they get over here. But I'm not sure how that can be accomplished with my current budgetary restrictions. I was able to vanquish this entire wave with the help of a single tower. I feel like this tower gets the most use in general. Not a bad one to build early. I'll, I'll get the castle going as well. Screw it. Character damage. House upgrades. Is house upgrade worth it? I mean, house upgrade is free econ, I feel like. Damage is based on skill issue, which I don't have skill. All right, bring it on, boys. I got a spear. I'm spearing, I'm spearing. I'm a kosher dill spear. I'm good with the sandwich, I'm good with the sandwich. How's the new update? Does it add a lot? It adds this map. And so I'm sure it adds some new perks. And I think those robot those robot guys might be new. I'm not sure. It's got a few new perks and such. Mainly this map, though. I like this map. It's a good map. Even though I keep losing. Even though I keep falling victim. Oh, they're going to kill my early econ. Oh, no. If they kill my house, I don't get money. I forgot about that. Slice them down please. Yeah, they killed my early econ. That's not good. That's real bad. But no early econ. I get a paltry sum. Can I build the outer wall yet? I can. I just don't have enough. Let's try the exploding windmill. I forgot how these work. Wind spirits, intercept, arrows, Scarecrows have strong anti-air. Mill explodes. Improved plow. I like the exploding mill idea. They're like they're like suicide bombs. 
Maybe you just need a bunch of suicide bombs. Maybe that's how you win. Do you detonate it or is it proximity? I'm pretty sure it's a proximity. I'm pretty sure they just pop off if a bad guy draws near. I think. I kind of forgot how they go. We'll see. We'll see with this one. No, we need we need more of you guys. Don't don't. Yeah, come get get closer to it. Come here. Or maybe when it dies. I think when it dies, it blows up. Yeah. Okay. It vanquished the guys who were attacking it. So that that could vanquish a few robots, I guess. That could be kind of useful. Those robots certainly aren't going to vanquish themselves. There's a new weapon. Oh, a new weapon. I got to unlock that. Hopefully it's a gun. Hopefully it's an intervention sniper rifle that kills those robots in one hit. Now that would have some use. Okay. Time for the terrestrial air force. A wall doesn't even stop those guys. Though. They don't even get stopped by that. They don't care. They don't even care about a wall. Hmm. I wish there was an option to auto run. Maybe there is. Is there an option to never not be running? Because holding down the trigger is getting kind of annoying. Controls. It would be in gameplay, right? Toggle gallop. Right shoulder. Oh, okay. I can just hit the bumper. Okay, good. That's good. Uh, we need ranged defenses. Maybe I don't buy the archers. The archers. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest. The archers kind of aren't doing that good. They're kind of not exceedingly useful. So far, at least. Although, they're the only guys that can kill these flyers, so maybe it would have been good to buy them. I don't know. Just gotta distract them. As long as you distract them, you're good. You're watching distraction gaming. It'd be cool if you could make them shoot each other. That'd be good. That'd be nifty. Okay, that windmill sucked. That windmill had no chance. The chances were not very good. Give it to him. Give him the bullets. All right, that wave is easy. That wave is nothing. The ocean wave is a little bit more threatening, though. But that wave is not that threatening. The threat is not large. It'd be really good to be able to preview all the waves. That'd be nice. As it is now, I think you just gotta like memorize what each wave is or have a Steam community guide open that tells you. Okay, I got 20 gold. Honestly, should I just spend it on a castle upgrade? Is that the stupidest decision of all time? And eh, I feel like a wall and tower upgrades are better, but I do gotta upgrade the castle though. Hmm. Screw it. I'll just fortify for the flyers. Because these, these guys will kind of sort themselves out, I feel. Can I build a windmill down here? That'd be good. Tower defense games where you can fight our great like Sanctum. Yeah, Sanctum was pretty fun. Like a million years ago. I remember watching Yogg's cast play Sanctum, and I was like, that game looks cool. Then I played Sanctum, and I was like, that game is cool. The Yogg's cast is still around, too. Good job, Yogg's cast. The last time I checked on Yogg's cast, they just made Gary's Mod Trouble in Terrorist Town videos every day, but you know, it's a living. I might have underestimated their ground forces, because there are many guys knocking on my door. Oh dear. This is not ideal. Not great. Not great. Just you guys wait till I get revived. Attack! Kill him, yeah. Woo! There we go. 
Okay, I kind of underestimated their ground forces, but not by that much, not by like a huge amount. Okay, so now it's the flyers from the land, right? Oh no, now it's the ocean wave. I'm getting my waves all confused. I'm gonna buy the castle, screw it. Ooh, huge hubris. Huge hubris. Units are faster when you command them. Units attack while you command them. That doesn't sound great, because I don't command them. I just, I just sit them there and let them do what they want. They mentioned a new baby mode mutator in the devlog. Nice, at easy mode. Well, I don't want to play on easy mode. I beat all the other maps on at least normal difficulty. So I'd like to at least vanquish this one on normal at some point in my life. Although, you know, I only have so many years on this earth. And those robots are pretty strong. All right, towers, you can you can stop fighting the ground guys, towers. It's the guys in the air we gotta worry about. They make a gross goo sound when they shoot, dude. They're like, Pweak. that's nasty. That's disgusting. I'm not a Captain Sparkles guy. I'm more of a Yogg's cat. Oh, sorry. Not a Yogg's cast guy. I'm more of a Captain Sparkles enjoyer. Mm hmm. You know, I used to rule the world. Chunks would load when I gave the word. Did I win? How did I not win? Didn't I win? Oh, there was someone down there. I think there was one guy 1v1ing that tower. Okay, robot time. I think I'm gonna lose. Hmm. Hmm. How do you kill the robots? Maybe just a bunch of windmills. I don't know if that wall did anything for me, honestly. I'm not sure if the wall did anything at all. You do the same strat every run, of course you're gonna lose. Eh, no, I can, I can win. See, watch, I'll buy a new hero unit. That's a new, I haven't tried the new hero unit yet. I haven't tried to buy the support mage. That's useless. I'll just buy a sturdy golem. You know what, I'm gonna put it all in the golem. All right, golem, you're my entire plan. The entirety of my plan is that I have a sturdy golem. I think it's a good plan. Just watch, just watch how sturdy this guy is. He's so sturdy, dude. They got no chance. Quite the sturdy guy. All right, windmill, windmill, do it. Okay, a like half damage, like four of them. Good job, windmill. Not that effective. No, golem, stay at the gate, stay at the gate, golem. Oh my god. Stay where you're gonna get fire support. There we go. Yeah, the windmill was not worth it at all. Is what I'm discovering. All right, house does see how sturdy he is. Sturdy! Oh, he's sturdy. He's sturdy. He's sturdy. He's not that sturdy. He's not the sturdiest. I've seen sturdier. I wish he blew up when he died. That'd be good. Also, they killed him, so he can't come back. That's not good either. A lot of things going wrong. Not a whole lot going right, you know? A lot of a, a, lot of a wrong doing here. I'm noticing that my strategy that I keep doing every round is not working. I think I should continue to do it every round, though, because it might work. You never know. Did I win? Hang on, did I win? I think I won. Hey, hey, all right, the sturdy golem, dude. He's sturdy. He's sturdy. Oh my God, the sturdy golem, that's how you win. You just gotta have a sturdy guy on your side and you win. Okay, now we're in uncharted waters on round seven of 12. Oh, look how sturdy he is, dude. He's so sturdy. All right, what's coming next? We just got, what is that? Wizards? I don't know, I don't even know what a wizard does. That's definitely a new unit, right? He's alive? Yeah, they respawn. Your units respawn at the end of the night. What the heck does a wizard, I have no idea how to prepare for a wizard attack. 
I have no clue what wizards are capable of. No clue at all. You can see what they do in the pause menu. Shoots magic projectiles that splash damage, attacks units. Okay. So they're shooters. They got a gun. You know, maybe it's time to build that wall. I got, I got plenty of guns over here. I got guns. Oh, I can fortify the castle wall? Yeah, do that. Ooh, chunky. I'll just upgrade my shooting. They got guns, but so do I. All right, Sturdy Golem. Defend defend your uh, spawn, Sturdy Golem, actually. Oh, this, this Golem's going to get blasted, though. Hang on, he's going to get obliterated. Because they're all going to spawn in and blast him. Oh, they fly? Oh, they're flying units. Oh, my God. The Sturdy Golem is useless. He's useless. He's useless. Sturdy, come here. Flee, Sturdy. Draw their fire while our towers get them. My Death Star towers that are completely useless. Did the Death Star towers shoot down a single ship? I don't think they did. I don't think they ever did. I should have enough missiles to kill these guys, though. I don't like that they fly. I, I was hoping they'd be on the ground with, like, a staff. Be like, yeah, yes. Mm. Yeah, the Sturdy Golem is a good decoy. He's a good decoy maneuver. They'll never see it coming. Okay, their magic is not that strong against towers. But also, my towers are not really hurting them that much. Well, they're not in the real firepower realm yet. Once I get up here, it's time for some firepower. This is where they die. All right, come on up, Wizrobe. Bring it on. My anti-air is ready for him. But are they ready for me? Okay, yeah, they're very weak against fortifications. They're only good against guys, it looks like. Or they just suck in general. Maybe they're just wizards suck. You only have five spell slots, which, you know, it's a decent amount, but... These guys suck. All right, what's next? We got a... Uh, large flying monster that kills defenses. The... What does that say? Pikes? Pyfies? Shouldn't it say pikes? Piles? I guess they're pikemen, right? It doesn't look like a K, though. That's not a K. Archers. Wasps. Okay, this is just like a default wave. This is a wave full of foes I've faced before. I could build the wall, but the wall is only good if I got towers to back it up. Maybe I should spend around making towers to back it up. Also, there's a million wasps coming from over here, but the wasps aren't that strong. They're not that good. I'm just going to build the perimeter towers. I should probably focus them where they're actually going to spawn, huh? That's probably a pretty good plan. Oh, so they're all going to spawn there. So those top two perimeter towers I built can't do much. I'll get one more island to tower as well because they're coming in from over there. On an island in the Game Throne Fall. Da -na 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 -na. Build a house too for that econ. Yeah, econ. A uh, sturdy golem. Should the sturdy golem be a distraction for the wasps? I think you should. But do they target units? Oh, they destroy econ. Oh, they go for the e-commerce? Come on, man. I mean, I'll put him here and see if he can help. I'm not sure he'll do much just standing here. Worst comes to worst, he'll just go fight the melee guys. Begin the assault. Oh my god, the assault really began. They're not messing around. They're not messing around. They have so many archers this time. Just a massive sum. That archer core is very threatening. Ah! Run. All right, how's the wasps going? They're just wasps, right? We should be easy to kill. Okay, yeah, the wasps don't care about the sturdy golem, but these guys might. Do you care about sturdy golems? If they can distract them, that's worth.
Oh god. It's just archers. They don't have much health. They have a lot of damage output, but their health ain't the best. Neither is mine, though. Hmm. The Harrier jets are doing pretty good over there. Not. I don't know if my towers are going to be able to kill those uh, those flyers. Actually, I gotta distract them. Hey, hey, pick on somebody your own size. Hey, pick on somebody your own throne. Pick on somebody your own throne. There we go. I'm distracting them. They're easily entertained. Yeah, pick on someone your own size. Yeah. Pick on someone your throne size. There we go. Oh, there's still one left. You remain. Not for long. Hey, I'm building here. Hey, I'm building here. Hey, oh my god. It's just wizards and robots. Just wizards and robots. Many, many, many of them. Hmm. Well, sturdy golem's gotta do what he does best. Can I upgrade him more? Oh, it's 18 points. I kind of want to. Becomes twice as strong and resilient. Double the sturdiness. I don't know if that's worth it, though. The wizards suck at killing structures, but they can just fly over the wall. I don't think the wall will stop them. I don't think the wall will kill them. The robots will kill the structure, though. Is the outer wall worth it? I think the outer wall will stop the robots from being able to kill the towers while the towers duel the wizards. It might be worth it. I mean, how can you not build it? It's so big. It's so big. I can't not build it. I can upgrade one tower and build one more. Uh, I don't have a tower over here. This is severely lacking. Which tower is the most bang for my buck? I could build a tower there. Maybe, yeah, maybe this tower, because maybe people will come down here. Eh, I don't know. I don't know which tower is bang for my buck. I'm not sure. I could just build two more. You think building two more in the center would be good? I'll just do that. I figured out how to make a decision. By not making one. All right, here we go. Wizards versus robots versus towers. Fight! I can tank the robots pretty good myself, actually. Okay, that tower fell instantly. Not great. Oh, the wizards are just going to roll through and soften it up. They're just going to soften up the whole situation, aren't they? They're softening? They're softening? Also, the tower can still be hit from outside. Crap. The robots were still hitting those towers. That's bad. That's not ideal. Oh, robot gang. Here we go. Ah. Time to get terminated. This is not looking good. Oh my god, sturdy golem, please. Please use your sturdiness to save my kingdom. I don't know if he's that sturdy. I should have just upgraded him, honestly. Double the health on the sturdy golem might have been a much better idea. Kill those wizards. They piss me off. All right, sturdy golem. Get sturdy on him. Oh, he's melting. He's not sturdy. He's not sturdy enough for this. Nothing could have prepared him for this onslaught. He's already gone, man. R.I.P. Gollum. You were a funny character. Can we kill these wizards, please? The towers aren't killing the guys. I mean, they aren't killing the wizards. They should be. Maybe the robots are more important, actually, because the towers don't do anything. Oh god, my, my walls! My walls! I'm kiting, I'm kiting. They're actually kind of low health. It's not impossible that I make it through. Probably is, though. It probably is not great. This, oh, if I had the sword right now, I would, could maybe cut them all up. If I had the sword, I could cut them down. 
Ah, uh, pretty close. Pretty close. A pretty close attempt. A decent attempt. But ultimately, a huge failure. Oh, well. Riser. Thank you, Riser, for subscribing. Is it a subscription? What is that? What the heck is that? It's like a super chat. What? Twitch has super chats now. I didn't know Twitch had super chat. Well, thanks for the super chat. I didn't know that was a feature Twitch had. Why would Twitch copy YouTube? What the heck? Why? YouTube sucks. Why would Twitch copy a YouTube streaming feature? That's dumb. I mean, thanks. I'm not saying. I'm not saying, uh, you know, I'm thankful for the... It's not even bits. It's just a super chat. That's stupid. Don't add twi Don't add YouTube features, Twitch. It's been like this for a few months. Oh, I didn't even know. Because no one ever has used it because it's dumb. At least subscribe. Then you get a funny emoji. Uh, what did I get? I got Burr Surfs. I think that F is a K. Is it in medieval times the Fs and the Ks look the same? Is that what they're going for here? You permanently unlocked high attack damage and like to focus on siege engines. Okay. Doesn't sound too great. Uh, we'll give it the old college try. I mean, again, I like my perk loadout. My perk loadout's pretty good. I do like them. So maybe just upgrade the sturdy golem even more. Yeah, I know F and S look similar in the old era. A hundred percent attack output for my guy might be good, actually. That might have made the difference previously. Alright, well, you know what time it is. Time to repeat the same strategy that failed before, although it almost didn't. I did subscribe. Oh, you did subscribe. Oh, yeah, you did subscribe. Thanks, Riser, for subscribing as well. Well, wow, subscribe and super chat. Look at that. Double the excitement. Wow, you're, you're just clicking every button, aren't you? You're just looking at that old Twitch dashboard, hitting every single button they got, seeing what they do. Let's see. How much money does this one deduct from my bank account? Oh, wow. Five bucks. Nice. If only there was a range type unit. Yeah, if only someone could shoot. If only a very easily unlockable unit had a gun. That could be good. Payback for the YouTube VODs I've engorged on. I, I like that. It's a good word for watching a long video. I totally engorged on some video essays yesterday, dude. Did you know that the new Star Wars movies aren't very good? Yeah, I watched video essay Whiteman explain for like seven hours. He made some good points. Okay, this is another chump change attack. Let's get the archers, because you said if only there was a ranged unit. Let's just get them. Screw it. Great pick if you can keep them at a safe distance. Well, when the robots come, they will not be able to be killed, because the robots don't go for that. So actually, they're a good pick. I think if they stand right here, they can shoot as well. I think. Full of content like a tick. Content suckers. Okay, they're just gonna run to the front line. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be smart about it. Found an entire book in Starfield about the making of chunks. Yeah, they got like a, a hundred page like documentary book about chunks. It's a pretty good bit. It's a pretty good bit like the longest book in Starfield is chunks lore. Bethesda has at least one good writer, but he does all the lore. He does all the notepads that say those things have been created. They should put him on the main story instead. I gotta, uh, if you didn't know, YouTube has a stupid feature on the app now. That I, at least I have it, because, you know, they give different features to different people for testing. I have a dumb feature now where it just says, like, watch something, and I hit it. And it starts playing normal YouTube videos as if they were YouTube shorts, which I hate. I was like, oh, God, I hate this feature. 
but it did allow me to like scroll through like 20 videos really fast, which is kind of funny. And most of the videos it suggested to me were like Starfield is terrible videos that were like an hour long. Like the very, I, it said watch something and I hit the button and the very first video was like 40 minutes long and the guy, the first line was like, Starfield has the worst story I've ever seen. No, that is not an exaggeration. It's actually, it's like, okay. Oh man. Why would they put an hour long Starfield sucks video in YouTube shorts? Who is that for? YouTube changed my homepage thumbnails are much smaller now. I, yeah, I like it when they're smaller, honestly. Because when, whenever they wrote out the update that made them all, like, huge, I was like, well, now I can see less. Now I can get less videos recommended to me because they take up too much space. I wish they were small. I wish they had minuscule size. Since the beginning of its inception, Starfield sucks, yeah. Since the beginning of its inception... For anybody who doesn't know, there's like a Bionicle video essay that has like a million views. And one time I went to watch that, I was like, hey, a Bionicle video essay, I'll watch that one. And the very first line was, since the beginning of its inception. And I was like, nah, I turned that one off. Beginning and inception mean the same thing. You don't gotta say it twice in the opening sentence of the video. So, never watch that one. Do you have axe, guys? Uh, you mean the hunters? I have some infantry guys. I could buy some actual infantry. I never did that yet. But see, the, I don't know about the infantry guys. Where can I get them? Can I build a barrack over here? Is there a barrack able to be constructed over here? May oh, maybe if you build crap over here, the enemies would, like, aggro to this crappy island. Hmm, maybe. I can build a flail guy. The problem with building the soldiers, though, is they just, their, their base is right here. Their base is, like, extremely undefended. They'll just die. They'll get, like, one use and die. I think it's time to bust out the sturdy golem. Are there gold mines? Oh, the gold mines on this map are the, uh, the harbors. But the harbors just die. They're not in good spots. It's hard to defend them. All right, sturdy golem, get sturdy on them. Let's get some econ going. Let's pay dividends. I mean, I, I could buy some soldiers and see if they're good. Target siege units and high health targets. They will not hesitate to sacrifice their lives. Flails can attack all the enemies around them. Spears are fast and strong. They do extra damage against fast and slow them down. Knights are versatile who are armored. Knights sound pretty good. I want to try the Berserkers, though. I wanted to see how they perform. They do have an axe. Okay, I've neglected my uh, tower strat for more of a army-based strat on this run. Let's see if it works. Get him, Armada. Yeah, sacrifice your life for me. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to do it. Hurry up, spawn back in. <laughs> Free spawn quicker. Uh-oh. This is not good. I'm not sure if my towers can kill that. Yeah, hurry up, Berserker. No, don't kill the sturdy golem spawner, huh? I think he only gets to appear once per round because his respawn is like 10 years. Maybe he can't even come back. Maybe the dead don't speak on that guy. Oh, they're all, they're all distracted. Hang on. They're all distracted by the Berserkers. That's very useful, actually. But now they're done. Just me and you, level one towers. Oh, wait, these guys weren't doing nothing. Wait, yes, they were. But they were just standing over here. What the heck? Uh, can you guys help, please? Yeah, yeah, give them a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, yeah, give them a taste. Give them a sampling. Give him a sampling. Okay, now it's time for the aerial bombardment. 
Uh, let's get the sturdy golem is not a distraction for the aerial guys. So let's just get these guys and the sturdy golem to be the distraction for the knights of foot. I can save billions if I just do this. Can the archers even get more upgrades? Or are they done? Oh, I gotta upgrade my castle if they want more upgrades. My towers around the base kinda are trash. I could upgrade the castle. I mean, an early castle upgrade could pay dividends. Everything could, everything could pay dividends. That's the problem. Nothing couldn't pay dividends. Let's see, isn't the next attack wave after this is like... The Southern Onslaught? Or is the next attack wave after this the Giant Flyers? I forgot. I don't remember. I think it's the Southern Onslaught, although I think I already fought that, so I don't know. I don't recall. Again, being able to see every wave would be quite useful. Because if I upgrade my castle, I can upgrade the archers. I'm going to say screw it. Hubris. Oh, the next wave is the robot? Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> it's the robots. Oh, I was like, hey, it'll be an easy wave next time. No, it's the robot wave. Oh, dear. That's not good. I thought I had a little bit more time before the robots, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, the sturdy golems got these guys. He has their number. Those guys' number is in my contacts. Okay, at least these guys suck and focus on econ. They're easy to slay. You need, like, one tower to stop that whole wave. Get a marchers, come on. Perform your namesake. Rammy Quan, thank you for subscribing. You can be battering Ram. That's like a medieval thing they got in the medieval times, right? Okay, how did I say? I think the sturdy golem just kind of soloed this whole round last time, but now I have these axe guys to do nothing with. Well, he, sol he soloed the whole round, and also he had backup of built up towers and walls. I didn't have him upgraded last time, I don't think. Maybe upgrade the archers? How much does an archer upgrade cost? I should have done that before I bought the tower. 16 gold? Who? I'm not made of money. What am I, the wealth of nations over here? Who's got that kind of spare change just changing around? Not me. All right, we got big archers. They are ready to defend the Sworn Kingdom. What's this game? This game is called Throne Fall. Because my throne always falls, even though I'm trying to defend it. I think maybe a mistake I've been making is investing too much in the island of defense. The island defense doesn't matter that much. Is it worth it to delay? I don't think building the big old wall to delay the robots will do much yet. Maybe if I can delay the top bots, though. Get these towers going, because why not? Just let, just, just let them be distracted while I work on more important matters down south. And berserkers, you can go help them be distracted. How about this? The berserkers will help distract those guys. Oh god, I'm not confident in this at all. Not my finest build. Oh, they're going right for the Berserker's respawn. Come on, man. That's just rude. That shows a lack of manners. Oh, he's already at half sturdy? He's already half sturdy? Come on, man. Gotta be sturdier than that. Here comes the main wave. Things are going well until the main force of the Hubris Brigade comes to play. My RIP sturdy. 
He's vanquished. He's vanquished. It's all on the spear, baby. It's all on the spear. It's all on the spear. Keep on drawing that aggro. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's, that went pretty good. That went really well. Okay, archers is the way to go, I think. Who would have thought trying a different plan would actually work? I never could have dreamed of such a marvelous outcome. I'm not sure if those axe guys were worth it though. Oh, wizard time. Basically, just my archers gotta kill them. Archers, you've been doing good work lately. I'm gonna give you a deluxe upgrade. Good work. Yeah, go go there. I'll give you some towers to distract. This will help versus the wizards. This also contributes to my broader goal of frontier defense. These guys can distract as well. Sturdy Golem, you're a distraction as well. Lots of distractions going on. Maybe the archers should be a little bit further back, actually. So that they can be distracted by Sturdy Golem and the ground man. This wave should be doable. He said nervously. Yeah, vanquish those archers. I mean those wizards. Don't vanquish the archers. Those are my guys. Oh my god, dude. The archers get vanquished instantly. They melted before the wizard's wrath. Holy crap. Alright, respawn archers. Oh, what the? Is that the wizard's shot going all the way over there? What on earth? How did it manage that? It's quite a distance. Maybe it like locked on to that guy. Maybe it just like locks onto the nearest archer and the archer respawned. Yeah, I think I got this wave in the bag. I think this one's in the bag. So my archers would respawn a little bit faster though, that'd be nice. Yeah, they're getting distracted by the uh, berserker store. That's pretty good, I like that. That's a good tactic. That's the kind of tactical genius I crave. Alrighty, Bazinga. What's next? Next is the flyers and the footmen. That sounds like an ancient proverb type parable. Oh, uh, we got a bunch of crappy guys coming from the sea. I feel like the archers can pretty much deal with this. I think this takes care of itself. And then Gollum, should I upgrade the Gollum? I don't know. I don't know if he should get an upgrade. These two towers are in desperate need of renovation. I could start building the frontier defenses. It's a good excuse to build the frontier defenses because these guys are here. I'm just not sure that wall is worth it, though, because they can attack the towers through the wall. I'm just not sure if it's worth it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give him more sturdiness. I'll make him sturdier. Oh, hang on, I can build something. I can build another... Uh, 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 let's build a house. Yay. One of my villagers jumps with joy. Little does he know that during the night he must face off against the entire insect armada. All right, Berserkers, lay down your lives for me. That's what was in your job description. Oh, my God. I'm laying down my life for them. No, 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 no. You're supposed to lay down your life for me, not the other way around. I'm supposed to stand up my life, and you're supposed to lay down your life. We got it all mixed up. The Berserkers are pretty good distractions, honestly. It messes up their AI, and they go up here. 
mean, them being up here is great. If that happens to the robots, it'd be great. All right, archers will be vanquished to see peoples. Oh, the archers got vanquished. Oh my God, their town died. That's not good. I kind of need them for this part of the strategy. I didn't think the sea peoples would be capable of doing that. Wow. Underestimated them like a Bronze Age ruler. All right, this is the wizards and the guns. The Gungeons and Dragons. 22 gold to spend. What do I spend it on? Maybe having the archers be a more proactive role. Because they spawn back in, right? Well, the archers having a more proactive role would help if the wall was there. Maybe this is the point of the wall. Maybe this is why the wall should exist, because the archers can be proactive all over the place. I'm doing it. And I'm going to lead the archers myself to victory. And or glory to be determined at a later date. Archers, why don't you uh, get to work right here? Berserkers, you guys can mess around up top. Uh, berserkers, you guys can mess around up top. Sturdy Golem's got to be by the gate. He's the last line of defense. He knows his duty. All right, archers, blast him. Do me proud, son. Sons of the Blue Kingdom. The Red Kingdom is trying to break through our walls, but we won't let them. Okay, I forgot that the wizards liquefy the archers completely. Still, it was worth it to send them out early, I think, because they got a few hits in. Got a few good swings. All right, archers, maybe, maybe just stay back here, archers. Sturdy Golem, you gotta be sturdy, though. Yeah, archers, stay, just stay over here. I think that's good for you guys. It's kind of annoying how they respawn one at a time. Oh, I gotta get out there. Been a year or two since I was out on the floor. And right, the Berserkers have been vanquished. Sturdy Golem. Oh, Sturdy Golem is not being utilized very well. That's not good. That's bad. That was not ideal for the Sturdy Golem. A tragic outcome for a noble hero. All right, stay up, stay up, stay up. And right, now the archers know. The archers know their plan now. Now they got it covered. Ah, super attack. Okay, back off, back off. Draw the aggro. I'm drawing, I'm drawing. Castle wall at like 40%. Super blast. Come on, some of them are so low health. They're so low, dude. Arch him. Arch him. Hit him with your bowstring. The twang of your bowstring. Preow. Oh, what the? What is this? There's a wizard brigade over there. What were they occupied by? The berserkers? The upper tower, maybe? Something held them off for a long time. I don't know what. Oh, this guy is, what is this guy attacking? What's going on? Oh, he's attacking individual chunks of the wall. Okay, I mean, yeah, the wall paid dividends then because a couple of the monsters stayed back long enough to be slain. Alrighty, what's next? Oh, is it like the mine guys? I think the mine guys are next. Oh, I hate those guys. They aim right for your castle and are somewhat armored. Wasps and a million of the big flying guys. That's not good. 39 gold, though. That is pretty good. I can invest heavily in infrastructure. Is there anything good on this island to build? Tower. Tower. More archers. Ooh, more archers. That's. I think that's worth the price of admission right there. 
We'll make these guys, um... They're good versus monsters. I mean, we're fighting monsters mainly, right? Monsters is like our main thing. Chancellor Palpatine. Monstrous creatures. Our uh, speciality. Yeah, just chill here. This is called Turtle Gaming. Are they all coming from up top? Yeah, they're all coming from up top. I think, are these guys rollers or flyers? They're rollers, okay. So the golem can fight the rollers, honestly. He's a golem. That's what he's made to do. And the, berser the berserkers are run towards him. They'll do it. That's their namesake. I have a lot of gold. I have a serious amount of gold. Knight 10 of 12. Is it worth upgrading the frontier towers? Or should I try to buy just a million troops? Just like so many troops. So many troops is more versatile. They can plug more gaps. What about ocean? Yeah, I'm hoping the final wave isn't an ocean wave. That would suck. I would be caught unawares by that for sure. Hmm, I think fortifying the archers is better because they can maneuver more. I can still fortify a few towers, though. They're not going to be completely unfortified. Can I fortify the entire outer wall, actually? Is that possible to do? Because that would be the best thing ever. Oh, I can. Oh, no, it only does individual... Oh, no, it would fortify the whole thing. Why well, should have done that. Crap. I should have fortified the entire outer wall. That would have been the no-brainer play. I forgot that was an option. Oh, well. Whoops. Boy, do I feel foolish. Well, I'm not hating my odds currently. Should I just save this nine gold? I mean, it's probably foolish to save the gold, right? I mean, 30 of these flying guys is not chump change. It's a significant amount. Maybe I'll finally give these towers their due. All right, good enough. All right, sturdy. Get sturdy on them. Like, that is so many of those guys. Oh, they're all leaving the castle. Don't leave the castle, guys. Hello. Stay there. He's a pretty sturdy distraction. That's going pretty good. Die, landmines. All right, the landmines have been mostly killed. Which is good. Here comes the swarm. Archers, can we arch the swarm, please? What are we doing? What are we doing? Can we arch the swarm? For the love of Solomon. Oh, God. Oh, I'm vanquished. I'm vanquished, dude. I'm totally vanquished. What the heck? How did this happen? How did this happen? I got hubris. I underestimated the swarm. This sucks. Oh, man. Oh, shucks. I don't think the stronger wall would have helped, though, which is somewhat of a relief. What's not relieving is I was so close this time. I was so close. So incredibly close. Ooh, brutal. A brutal defeat. Talk about unsatisfactory. Maybe I unlock something good? Did I unlock a good thing? You deal 80% more damage, but have... 80% less health? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna equip that one. You unlock a new upgrade path for level 3, which reduces upgrade cost of all towers and walls every night when picked? Dude. That sounds pretty good. That sounds not bad. I just go grind an easier level to get some level ups? I don't know. This is a... This is certainly Green Hill Zone is what it is. I know I said I was going to do one more attempt, but now I'm going to do one more attempt. Just just one more. Just one more attempt, please. I do have other games installed that I might play, but this game is a very fun game, so maybe I'll just play this one for like 10 hours straight. Let's see. Castle Center has more health. A res. 
I think this is worth it. I think all my guys dealing 40% more damage is worth a debuff to me. I think that is more than worth it, actually. It sounds good to me. What do you think? What do you think, Twitch chat? Are we going to play this game more? Yeah, woo! Is there a, even a notification for that super chat? Did I even send a notification? I didn't even see one. I don't even know my Twitch alert box knows what that was. More health for the walls. Is more health for the walls good? I don't know if I need Architect's Council. I don't think I need that, to be honest. I think I need this one. I think this is a good loadout. Uh, do I want the spear? I think the sword is better. Because it is that big old strike. Let's spend more time with Sturdy Gollum. Yeah, I love that Sturdy Gollum. He sure is stalwart. Alright, Greenland. Despite your best efforts, it's time to get conquered. Alright, so what went wrong last time? What were, I, everything worked fine last time, actually. Except for I couldn't kill those flyers. Those dot 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 flyers. I think the early castle upgrade with... I want assassin. I have a huge damage debuff, so assassin is probably not great, actually. Enemies that deal damage to you, take that damage yourself. Auto-econ. Auto-econ, is it worth? My character has a huge damage debuff, so I think auto-econ might be good. Because I'm not going to be doing much with sword, even though I picked the sword to do much with. Uh, give me a lone tower to assist in the defense of the castle. And give me the early econ. Bring it on. In these early waves, I must defend the kingdom myself. Oh, the spear is so much better. What the heck? I picked the sword for the big whirlwind move, but, I mean, you, you, you're you seeing the difference. I think the spear is way better. It's better versus these guys. The sword is better versus the robots, which is the main enemy. So, you know, I'm going to lose. <laughs> I'm gonna lose right now. No, I won't. I will not fall so easily. Yes, attack me. Attack the magistrate. Don't attack his lands. Mom, they're attacking my lands. They killed my econ. That's actually very bad. My early econ dying is not a sign that the kingdom is gonna be thriving. Yeah, that 40% damage reduction is really hurting. That's why the sword is so bad. I forgot. I forgot I took a huge damage debuff. Like, what the heck? This sword sucks. Okay, we got through it. Our econ is completely in shambles, but we got through it, so it was worth it. Uh, they got some archers, and they got some spears. Do I have enough to summon my own archers? I think I do. I think it's only four to summon them. Yeah. I liked them as normal archers last time. Maybe the hunters were a better overall choice, but I like the normal archers. They're, they're pretty good, you know. They're solid. They got good speed. I get that econ going. Get more tower going. I uh, have room for one more econ. Maybe I should build the bridge. I'll just build the bridge to Archer 2.0. All right, here we go again. The night draws near. 40% damage debuff. All the archers kill these guys. They got no chance versus the bow. The bow show. The enemy archers do have a chance, but it's okay. We don't care about their chances. Doesn't worry me at all. Towers help. Towers support your liege. Right, that was an easy wave. Said the king, dying on a spear. That was an easy battle. 
quoth the impaled sovereign. I gotta use the word quoth more. Quoth is good. Quoth the raven nevermore, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Poe heads? Any fellow Poe heads in chat? Okay, this is the conglomerate of the skies. Which means that... Building some good towers would be good. Building an archer upgrade would be good if I can afford the other archers as well. I think I can. You guys can be my... You'll be my hunters. I'll have hunters and archers. Hey, I have both. Why settle for just one type of bowstring drawing when you can have multiple types? Oh, yeah. Bring it on, sundown. I have several long bowmen itching for a fight. Went so far as to join the Discord for this game to see if I get some good tips against the new enemies. They gotta have a unit counter. I mean, I was doing pretty good. I just underestimated the flyer wave. If I just don't underestimate the flyer wave, then I'm good. I kind of wish the archers wouldn't return there. They kind of go far away. Is the sturdy golem that much of a factor? This is the question. He does delay the inevitable a little bit. But he, he's a large investment. He's not a small investment. Was it truly his sturdiness that won the day? Or was it just my defenses were good? I have huge buffs on my defenses now. So maybe I forego the sturdy golem. If I forego the sturdy golem. And just focus on extremely healthy walls and towers. Which they are. That might be a better method. To be perfectly honest. Upgrade the hunters as well. Alright, you Robin Hood hat guys, come here. Early blacksmith worth it? Well, the early blacksmith gives you a 30% buff. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know if it's worth the... I mean, it's only four gold. It's not even that much. 30%? Eh, we'll try it. You know what? We'll try it. Melee, range, ranged resistance. I want range, do I want range damage or range resistance? Hmm. The range resistance is 30% and the damage is only 20. And it takes a shorter amount of time. We're going to go with the range armor. Hopefully that applies to all my guys and not just me. I don't know. It, it should apply to all the guys, right? It should be for the benefit of the kingdom, I think. If I was designing the game, that's how I'd do it. And also, I would just let myself win. And be like, yeah, I'm so good at my own game. Woo! So, if I ever design a game, don't play it. It'll suck. Eh. Taste the fury of my kingdom slice. Ooh. That didn't do much damage because my 40% debuff. Holy crap. It's very annoying. Maybe this bridge is worth it to get those archer reinforcements into the fray faster. That That's probably worth two gold, right? Get him into the battle. Obo Wind Studios, yeah. We specialize in baby mode games that streamers with no IQ can win. Yeah, I think this bridge is worth it to get these guys back in the fight. I think that's a no-brainer. Do I have enough arching to kill this wave? Because I want to... I would like to buy the new house. I would love to do that. I got a million arching. It might be enough. I say send it, honestly. I say build a new castle and just send it and hope the archers can defend my realm. 
I have a few towers, but they ain't great. Meanwhile, I will go deal with the knights myself, and by deal with them, I mean I will distract them. The upgrade cost of walls and towers is reduced. Is that good? It's the best one I can buy. This game is called Thronefall. I'm in like the variety gaming category because I thought I was gonna play other games maybe. I should probably just, hang on, I'll just change the Twitch category to Thronefall. Cause like, let's be real. The other game I have downloaded is not that good. And Thronefall is actually very good. All right, I am now in the Thronefall category, all right. Adhering to the Twitch Terms of Service Gaming. All right. All right, get distracted. Get distracted, famed swordsman. Don't you wish to try your wits against one of the least effective sovereigns in all the land? Come and try your might against a blue guy. A true blue blood, if you will. All right, are the archers gonna vanquish those foes for me? I'm hoping they can. They should be able to. I mean, they're just foes. They're just the hated foe. They're not even that bad. Okay, good job, archers. All right. All right, I'm liking it. All right, I'm liking this plan. Okay, robot wave. Robot wave. Oh, man, I'm really missing the sturdy golem. I wish he was here with me right now. Uh, I think you have to have the initial one down before the upgrade cost gets reduced. The Berserkers were really good last time at, like, distracting stuff. They always end up getting here, though. They always end up getting here, so I'll just build that. Okay, the, the upgrade cost did go down by one. It said it goes down by one gold each night, so those only cost three gold later. Maybe. If I build the outer defense wall, the archers can get in some good work, actually, because there's no wizards to pop them. I think that's worth it. I think it's a worthy cause. Plus, they can respawn kind of quick. Maybe I should just max out an archer right now. Although, I don't have the greatest towers. Everything is everything is looking pretty good, except my towers aren't great. Definitely want this wall. Where's the wall node? Are you the wall node? Yeah, definitely want that. And maybe, maybe I'll upgrade my towers over here for old time's sake. I mean, they got a reduced upgrade, you know? They got reduced upgrade costs for Pete's sake. I gotta make use of the reduction. It's a bit reductive, I know, but you know. Would the archers be better focusing? Well, these are hunters. Eh, we'll just send it. Hopefully it'll work out. Also, I do no damage now, so it better work out, because why are you guys going outside? Stay here. This is the problem with hunters, is they want to melee everything. Don't melee, shoot them. Use that big old gun you always carry around. Maybe they're good at melee, actually. I don't know. Maybe their melee is a worthy cause. All right, top guys are breaking through. That's not good. I right, get rid of these guys. Eliminate them, please. Archers, we got to focus up top. We got to focus up top. Come on. Let's focus about right here, shall we? Pretty good spot to focus, me thinks. Actually, get inside. Get inside. Come over here. Yeah, stay, stay right about here. That's good. Hunters, hey hunters, I know I was yelling at you guys before, but uh, maybe you'd like to assist in this battle. All right, archers have been melted. Not great, but they everyone is very distracted though. They're very distracted over here. That's not bad. Put them on the bridge. Yeah, put them on the bridge between the archer spawners, honestly. Actually, that's terrible because I can just get in that way now. They can bypass my solid wall. Oh no, this is actually horrible. They're gonna bypass the solid wall I have. Hmm, maybe that bridge is not a good buy. Maybe it's the worst purchase. 
Maybe it shouldn't be on my 2023 holiday buyer's guide. I right, come this way. No, this way, this way, guys. This way, down here. Yeah, come down here. Come fight my nice wall that I have. I have a really nice wall that you guys should do battle with. It's really good. You should totally fight that. I got a wall with your name on it. This is a bit of an unorthodox strategy for the robot round, but I think it's gonna work out. And none of my econ died, which is nice. That's good. Hey, yeah, that was not a good tactic at all. Who's still alive? Who remains? Oh, that guy's killing the wall all by himself. Aw, oh, poor little robot. Here's the robot trying to kill the wall. Okay, I gotta be careful here, actually. I gotta aggro them one at a time. All right, towers, help me out. Do some shooting. In my entire defenses should be able to kill one robot. He's a single robot. There we go. All right, fellas. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. What's up, Greg? Just in time to see you heroically send your serfs to their deaths. I'm dying too. I'm a good ruler. I fight on the battlefield with my troops. I don't just sit in the back. I'm out here on a horse with a sword, dude. I got the most melee of melee weapons. I guess like a knife is more melee than a sword. With that shorter reach. Yeah, I don't know if this bridge is the strat. It really opens up a different angle of attack that bad guys can take. I, I, think, this, I think this bridge was a mistake. I'm going to say it was a mistake. I don't like it. Because they're going to aggro to the archers and come over here into archer land. Does that mean I got to build towers in archer land now? I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to do that. Did the blacksmith getting destroyed kill the timer on the upgrade? I have no idea. I'm not going to spend 16 gold to reopen his UI. I think he already researched it because he has no bar above him, which is good. All right, what's the next wave? Oh, just the wizards. We can outshoot the wizards of the coast. It should be cheaper to certify this whole wall now. You're only 19. One gold savings. Although certifying that whole wall is completely useless against the wizards. A fact I realized after I hit by. Although these towers are super cheap to get now though. Ooh. I should have built the ones by the gate instead. So the wall would do anything at all. And the wall can't even hurt the wizards. Ooh, hoo hoo, the wall can't even hurt them. Aha. Uh -huh. Look, I've tried conventional methods. And they kind of worked until they didn't. So I'm going to try to fortify. Fortify for the future. Don't fortify for the future. The present foe is merely an obstacle on the path to future glory. Or something. He said about to die to the wizard wave. Oh, they do attack the tower. Okay, they want to kill it. That's good. They have a vested interest in killing. I wish the hunters wouldn't run out and die. Can the hunters not run out and get killed by the wizards, please? Oh, they forgot. They forgot they wanted to kill the tower. Crap. They forgot they wanted to kill my tower. I mean, my walls. I mean, this sturdy wall is pretty good. Pretty good upgrade. Yeah, I really don't like this bridge. This really gives them a big old window to just come in behind me. It's not great. It could probably be mitigated with proper troop management, but... <laughs> you know who's holding the controller, right? I'm not the manager of the year. Weird, you can't build another wall on that bridge. Yeah, I wish I could build a wall somewhere back here. That would be great. You can build a bunch of towers and crap. A bunch of garbage like that. 
Like a wall right here would be so good. I would like that. I think my castle's already maxed out. I don't think I can upgrade the castle more. Which means there's no more build nodes that I'm missing. Okay, a flying onslaught from the coast. I've underestimated these in the past. And it's been a big mistake. Is this a... Can I... Is there another bridge, actually? There's another bridge down there. Maybe that could make the distraction even longer. No. I wasn't even toggled to run mode. Wow. Do I have enough to vanquish this onslaught? I mean, we'll upgrade the archers, yeah. I'll just upgrade some... Do I upgrade the hunters? I'll upgrade the hunters. They've been working hard lately. Sit there. Sit there. Uh, I'll build a tower over here to, uh... Piss them off a little bit, just a little bit. It won't be much. I don't, I don't know about this wave, honestly. I'm not extremely confident. They're gonna have to handle this real fast and then focus the gate. I think. Yeah, try to kill my wall. Oh, they, oh my god. <laughs> they got me good. What wave is this? It's eight, okay. Still don't remember what each wave does. All I know is they keep getting harder and harder. I gotta go monitor how the bugs are doing. Did they quit bugging us? Yeah, they quit bugging us, good. All right, everybody. I know the coins floating in the ocean are very tempting in a Mario sort of manner, but I need you to stand right here and defend these walls. Wow, they really want to just kill the entire wall. I don't know why they're so distracted by that. It's kind of out of character for them. Leave me be. There we go. Leave me be, leave me be. Hit him from a distance. Hit him from a distance. Yeah, the hunters like to go out and get him. The archers run away. Wait, are you the archers or the hunters? I think these are the hunters, actually. Did the archers not get the memo that we're going to retreat? I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't go aggro them. I should have let them keep kidding the wall. Keep on hitting that wall, guys. It's fine. You sure love punching that wall, don't you? Your army's a wall puncher. Alright, you guys can come help. I know I said defend the gate, but I mean, come on. Would I really be a good ruler if I didn't constantly contradict myself and take out my anger on my subordinates? That's management 101. Hold the line! Hold the line! I take this stupid thing with you. Benedetto! Stay with me, Benedetto! You never gave me the five bucks. Alright, here we go. Wizards and robots. What did I do last time to help me win this? I think I had towers last time to help me win this. I think I did buy the upgraded frontier towers. Yeah, the upgraded wall paid dividends. It really it really keeps him occupied. You should cost one now, yeah? I'm gonna I'm gonna build a couple basic towers out here because they'll cost less. They would they will help defense and also they will cost less to upgrade in the near future when I need them to be upgraded. Uh, maybe I should have bought an archer upgrade, but I didn't. So there you have it. There you have it, folks. An upgrade to the Bowman was not purchased by our glorious sovereign leader. Though hubris has plagued the military in the past, 
The glorious leader is confident we will, quote, totally own this wave. We'll see how it goes. Everybody to me. Here we go. They're rallying to me. They're rallying to me. And here's good. And actually stand here and don't run out. Yes, yeah, stand. Just stand here. And don't run out of the gate and die. Begin the conflict. So it begins. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. This way, troops. Focus over here now. Oh, the hunters are just going to go melee now. Uh, hunters. What am I going to do with you guys? They just love meleeing, you know? They just love hitting stuff. Maybe I should have gone all archers, because the hunters just love to punch. They love punching a little bit too much. They're like the bad guys. The bad guys like punching, too. Once the wizards are slain, we have a pretty good advantage, because the wizards can neutralize the archers with great speed. Should I start falling back? Oh, I need to start. I should have started falling back yesterday, guys. Listen to me, guys. We got to go into the castle. We got to go in here. This is where we reside now. This is our new home. Yeah, the wall having a lot more health is very, very good. That's a good upgrade right there. One of the ones I like the most. And the upgrade I admire most. Met up with Darth Maul and now it's toast. Right, now I gotta prevent them from knowing they can come over this bridge. Please stay by the gate and don't tell the robots to come over the bridge. Pretty please. I'm distracting, I'm distracting. Ooh, I wish I had Gollum right about now. Although they're coming in waves though, because they get they get really distracted by that wall. The robots love that wall. All right, I think I won that one. Oh, there's still many wizards left. That's fine. We don't care about that. We'll leave some here to defend whatever gets passed. Actually, it's still a decent amount. We probably should just stay in the castle. There's no reason to leave, really. On second thought, let's not do that. Yeah, I don't know why the wizards just hate my wall. They're just not fans. I should stop at I, Whenever I go over there and mess with their AI, they always end up attacking the castle instead. Oh god, they're revealing. They're revealing the bridge. Don't reveal the bridge. Don't let them know. Don't let them know about the bridge. Anybody who sees the bridge must die. There we go. All right, please eliminate these guys. Here we go. Not so magical now, are you? They still got a solid wizard core, but I think my towers can just blast those guys. I'm not too concerned about them. Go kill him. All units, kill the wizard. Kill Faringar. His fire won't be secret for long. His funeral pyre, that is. Talk to Faringar, my court wizard. Faringar. Might have found someone who can help with your Dragonstone situation. Alright, this is where I died. This is where I fell victim last time. 
But with some upgraded towers and a little bit of luck, maybe I won't fall victim this time. I think that the the gnats are like a bait. Because, like, what are they going to do, really, you know? They're not going to kill the castle themselves. That's not going to happen. They're to get you to dedicate resources over here, which you need to spend on the giant flying armada. Cheaper to upgrade. Should I build more towers over here? I might want to build a bunch of northern crap, honestly. Because this is where I died last time, so might as well go all in. You cost one coin. Oh, you cost four? I must have recently built him. He must have been a recent addition to our family. You only say our family if you're playing Cult of the Lamb. I'm not playing Cult of the Lamb, playing a different game. The only problem is the hunters are going to go want to attack those mines, which they definitely should not be doing. So. I'll give the mines more targets. Listen up, people who can shoot guns. Stand here. Yeah, I just got to build more uh, over here defenses, I think. I think with a few more upper towers, should be good. Uh, mm, I don't know. I I ignore I ignore those gnats at my peril, honestly. But, but these guys can shoot at them. It'll be fine. Send it. Here we go. Oh my God! So much, so much is happening. So much battle. Okay, they like attacking the blacksmith, which is good because that doesn't do anything. That helps. Yeah, wipe them out. Wipe them out. I'm wiping, I'm wiping. Okay, they've been significantly weakened. I think we're good. This is only 10. There's two more. Oh my god. Okay, this wave is solved. It's got to arch them. You could say archers are their arch nemesis. Uh, uh. Am I right or am I right? All right, we got them good. They're down. Knight, survive. What's next? We got, oh, the ogres. I forgot about the ogres. They get you good. They're not monsters. Okay, so the hunters aren't as good against them. 40 wizards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spearman and the battering ram. Okay, maybe, maybe the ogre is good now. I only have a don't have that many coins though. The go, I mean the golem, not the ogre. Are they all coming from down here? Yeah, it's just a complete southern assault. Okay, well, if I just buy those upgrades, get the ogre to stand in front of the gate or the golem. Sorry, I keep calling the golem the ogre when he's anything but. I think you'll just stand in front of the gate, dude. I think you're the last line of defense. That hopefully won't be necessary. He has a third upgrade, dang. He's so upgradable. No, don't start, don't start. I'm still building. This is a weird Civil War game. Yeah, I have a Civil War game installed as well, but as I've said, this game is definitely more fun than that game would be. I mean, I'm still going to play that game eventually, but I got I got to at least beat Green Hill Zone first. I can't just abandon Green Hill Zone without winning Green Hill Zone. It's more being a king than it is being a Union soldier. Those guys are always getting their legs sawed off. Ouch! All right, I like my odds. I have six coins. Should I spend them? What do I, I I should. Oh, I can upgrade you. Yeah, okay, that's worth. Look at that. Look at that responsible economic planning. Got to go royal. Yeah, got to go royal. Got to seize the throne. Thrones are made to be seized. Honestly, building a house here might not even be the worst idea. 
it's a good distraction, if nothing else. All right, give it to him. Give him to him blue army style. This is how we do it in the blue military. We just shoot you a lot. A tried and true method. Ow. Oh, the ogres got through already? Oh no, it's ogre, it's ogre, it's ogre. It's all ogre, fall back. Oh no, it's all ogre. No, it's all ogre. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is not good. All right, sturdy golem, once again, once again, I am calling upon the sturdy golem to bail me out big time. Oh man, that is not good at all, is it? Not great. Oh, he's sturdy, he's sturdy. Ooh, he bailed me out big time. Look at that bailout. Look at that bailout. Look at that refund. Not over till the sturdy boy sings, yeah. Although I wish I could order sturdy to get inside, because currently he's being wizarded with no recompense. I need him to remain sturdy for the incoming siege engine. Which he is. He's sturdy. Did he kill it in one hit? He kills the siege engines in one hit? Holy crap, dude, that guy is sturdy. That is a sturdy guy. Yeah, the bridge has been breached, but not by any strong units. Not by anything worth writing home about, so they'll be mopped up. Still a decent enemy force remains, though. Let's regroup. Regroup our firepower. Let him, just let him, just, just, guys, just let him. Just let them do their thing while we regroup with our uh, guns. Just let them kill the upgraded wall while we get all of our guys back. And Sturdy Gom does his Sturdy Dance. This is like managing Pikmin. I'm wrangling, I'm wrangling. Oh, this is my, oh, one of my archer units died, crap. They hit one of my depots. Yeah, engage piecemeal, there we go. Engage piecemeal, not all at once. Don't bite off more than you can chew. My mistake in previous attempts was trying to rely on buildings. Everybody knows it's the valor of the soldier that wins the day. The indomitable human spirit when faced with a wizard. <laughs> He's trying to batter the wall from the inside. He's already inside. He already got inside the castle he's trying to siege, and he's like, I must kill it. From within! You got this, archers. I believe in you. The valor of the wall won the day. Yeah, that's true. The wall is the most valorous unit on this field. The wall is the one most deserving of eternal glory. Alright. Oh my god. Look at that onslaught. Holy crap. Is there no flyers? Wow, there's no flyers. Well, no, there's wizards, but they're wizards. Hmm. Okay, what's the plan for this? They got robot batterers. If the batterers make it to the gate, the ogre can stop them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, not the ogre, I keep calling him an ogre. I'm sorry, Gollum. I'm gonna keep the golem inside. Keep him indoors. I think all my archers are maxed with the upgrades. Should I buy some rank and file? Should I buy some crappy guys to like keep delaying? Well, they can not fight the wizards too good, so I don't know about that. I don't know if that will yield the dividends. Oh no, there is some of the flyers. There is some of the airship guys. Hmm. The third tower upgrade is not that good, as I recall. I think I just do this. Just buy all the towers I can. The third tower upgrade is too expensive for what you get. How many towers can I still buy? I can buy him, 
him at six. It might be worth it to buy the foot guys. Honestly. It's not going to hurt to have them. But would a tower be better is a question. I can buy both. Yeah, it's not going to hurt to have them, right? Uh, I want someone that's heavily armored against ranged attacks because they'll be facing a lot of those. Uh, yeah, just get heavy armor. They're, they're just there for fun, mainly. As a bit of a laugh. Well, I suppose it's time to kick it off. I hope I win. Wish me luck. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Oh, different music. Oh, man. When the music changes. All oh, the hunters. Oh, hunters. Stay in the walls, guys. Stay in the walls. You guys are so dumb. Oh, they're getting through. No, they don't. Stop that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Too many flyers. Too many flyers. Get up top. Put a stop to this Air Force bombardment before it begins. Oh, God. Not good. Not good. Not good. I'm falling victim. I'm falling victim. Foot soldiers, do something. Do something, guys, please. Oh, this is bad. My confidence is at an all-time low. My piecemeal reinforcements may not be enough to carry the day. Ye olde Zerg rush. Yeah, really. I might need the sturdy golem to yet again carry the battle. I don't want to expose him to the wizards, though. I need to save the sturdy golem for the uh, siege engines, because he one-shots those. He's more useful as a siege pacifier than he is as a robot pacifier. How many wizards are still left? Uh, not that many? Okay, okay, hang on. It's looking good. It's not looking terrible. I've seen worse looks. <laughs> That's right, I own a mirror. Bazinga. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's got the most hubris of them all? Alright, hang on, I think we're good. All that remains is these guys. These guys really want to kill the wall, which is excellent. That is excellent for us. They can they can attack the wall all they want. Yeah, this outer wall is how you win this map. The outer wall is the MVP of this particular battlefield. You just buy him and give him 10 million wall upgrades and he wins. This wall is going to get patched out. Yeah, it's a little strong. Well, to be fair, my entire perk loadout is for making the wall good. So usually it's not this good, but it is really, really good. Usually it's a little less extremely amazing. It is the last wave, right? Yeah. The snow map had a big old fish guy. Oh no, what if this is a big fish guy? What if there's like a final boss of this one? Because the snow map had a final boss. I hope it doesn't have that. Dari, you are 27. Thank you for just grabbing. What is Dari, what backwards? Ah, uh, Warad. A Warad. A ward. You can be a ward. You can be awarded. You've been awarded with some emotes for your subscription. We did it. Wait, we didn't win? Okay, we did win. Whew. Good job, Blue Kingdom. Took like two and a half hours to settle on the winning strategy, but it was done. No mutator bonus. Yeah, no mutator bonus. I didn't get mutated. Lightning staff, new weapon. Ooh. Ooh. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Let's see, shoots a lightning bolt at all enemies in range. 
enemies in close proximity to each other cannot be hit all at once. That means the more spread out your enemies are, the more you can hit. Okay, it's one of those zaps. A powerful lightning erupts from your current position after a short delay and deals massive damage in a small radius. Gotta try it out. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out for sure. Maybe not on the green map, though. Oh, man. The green, this is a little bit of, I said, hey, what did I just say? I said maybe not on the green map, though. This is a little bit of a high blood pressure map, if I do say so myself. Let's lower the blood pressure a little bit. This is also a very high blood pressure. I remember the desert was high blood pressure. I think this one is the least. Well, this is the tutorial. The tutorial is a little bit too little blood pressure, though. This is a decent amount of blood pressure. Lightning bolt. Uh... Sure. Achieve a victory without the bow. Okay. Achieve a victory with turtle mod. Enemies have 75 more health. What? That's a hard mod. What does the snake mod do? Enemies drop minus 50 gold. I might be able to do that. I'll try that one. Why not? I'm going to be poor. All right. What is this map? I forgot how this map goes. This is an easier map, though. It has 13 waves? Oh, my God. I thought it was going to have less waves, and that's why it's easier. Never before have I been so wrong. How many attack vectors does it have? It has the river. I think it has three. I think it's a three-pronged assault. The old triple entente. Uh, I think my lightning bolt can kill three of those guys. It's just those guys. Right? Like, I shouldn't even be worried. I should just start building the village. All right, Lightning Bolt. Can you kill three guys for me? Give him a zap. Wow, it sucks. It kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Oh, it calls in an AC-130. Okay, it's a Predator missile. But it's like, it's not like a instant ability. It's you got to aim it. It's the R8 revolver. Uh-oh. Uh, it's not great. Actually, it would be really good for killing the robots, though. It'd be great for the robot wave. Okay, that's good. More of a carpet spark, yeah. I don't know if lightning bolt is the right word to describe what I just saw. Do I keep going econ or buy that tower? I think I'll buy that tower and go econ. I think I'll do a little bit of both. Now that I know how it works... I can try to kite the entire wave at once into one circle. Like this. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Dude, the king can solo this whole map by himself. This is a small map. This is small potatoes. Alrighty. Coming up next, we got two. What is that guy? The Hunterling is an incredibly fast and dangerous monster with the sole aim of chasing you down. Oh, they come after me. Okay. They're king fans. They want my royal blood. Oh, this is an econ, honestly. Honestly, you know. I forgot I can't upgrade the tower yet. Crap. Can I have more towers, please? There we go. There's one. Is this an econ? Ooh, it is econ. All right, will this be a horrible mistake? Well, the hunter is going to come towards me. So that should be fine. Come get some. Come taste the royal blood. There we go. Huge damage. Oh, he sucks. He's got like one health. Kill him. AC-130 above. Nice kill, Hunter 2-1. Keep up the fire. My archers, archers, archers. I think that's time for a castle upgrade. And I think that's time for... Oh, I do have the character attack debuff on still. I think I still have that modifier on. So I didn't, I didn't really give the staff a fair shake. Poor staff. 
Yeah, auto econ's a decent investment. I don't know if I'm gonna win this. I might die. I'm not sure if the staff can counter the archers, especially with my giant debuff. Might have been a huge mistake. Because I can't walk into him and use my blast on him. Lol, give the staff a fair shake. Hey, yeah, lol. That sounds like it means something else. <laughs> a bazinga. Okay, this is going fine, actually. I've got no concerns. Okay, it does have some splash. Not much splash, but there is some splash. Okay, now I can build much more. What we got? 15 mine guys. Hmm. Ooh, I like that. I mean, immediately I'm looking at that like that's for me. You seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing I can buy range and I can buy soldiermen's. I think soldiermen is good versus mines, right? We'll go knights. Knights is the classic. If anybody can defend the throne, it's a sword and board soldier. Who carries his blade with pride. Bring it on. Oh, they're, they're bringing it. They're bringing it on. Crap. Hubris. Hubris. Knights, fall back. I repeat, fall back. It is being brought. I repeat, it is being brought. We didn't think they were going to bring this much. Okay, they're not mines, I don't think. Because they're not just blowing up the castle. Archers and swords. Okay, they got a big army. They're mustering their forces this time. Which means I gotta muster my own. Hmm. Is it better to muster those guys? Or I think it's better to just muster more bodies. I think the more guys you got, the better. We'll go crossbows this time, because I haven't given the crossbows a good whirl yet. Are you a tower? Ah, uh, you're kind of a far away tower. We going econ? Let's just go econ. I don't think I need a huge amount of guys to triumph right now. We will hold them here. With my lightning bolt. Yeah, the crossbow guys are a little bit too eager to get into melee. Can you guys, like, stay back, please? They are pretty strong, though. They got good gun potential, I gotta say. Wow. They look like they could do some damage. All right, we're getting vanquished in equal amounts, I feel. I feel a fair balance of vanquish is happening right now. They got exploded. All right. And see, now I got a bunch of money. 14, which is not that much. Oh, they can come from here? Whoa, hang on. Can they cross that river? They're flying, aren't they? Yeah, wasps are flying monsters. Eager to destroy my economy. If you want to destroy my econ... Okay, well, the knights can do nothing this wave. So, I'll buy more crossbowmen. Crossbowmen and that tower. Because they're coming from here, so... Everybody intercept them as soon as you possibly can. At your earliest convenience. Kill them. Oh, I have a ranged weapon, too. Look at that. Hold the line. Nice try. My blockchain is made of mithril. I always thought that, like, mithril was a Lord of the Rings metal, but then D&D uses it as, like, a item. So I guess it comes from not Lord of the Ring. I guess it's, like, some other common era. Common era. Common. Creative commons. Some kind of old... Like, public domain myth must have had Mithril, because usually when D&D uses a Lord of the Rings term, they get sued to Oblivion. Oblivion's Bethesda! 
instead of playing D&D, they can only play the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Not the worst fate, but not a good one. D&D is way more fun than Oblivion. And Oblivion's pretty good. Wonder if YouTube will give me a video now. Now that I said Oblivion is good, will YouTube give me 25 videos to say, Oblivion is the worst game ever. It's literally the worst, it's the worst game. Probably. That's how these things tend to go. Oh, there's guys approaching from the southern as well. I didn't even notice them. There's 30 of them? That's a lot of them. That is not a small number. You can build an early tower in the forest at the center road. Am I missing something? Oh, I didn't even see him. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Talk about eagle eye to Twitch chat. Yeah, I'll put I'll put this there as a distraction. Why not? Got nothing better to do. Thank you, Toge Fama, for subscribing. Toge Fama's common refrain whenever a subscription is given is that you should change your bed sheets. Which I agree. You can't be sleeping on those things for months on end without washing them or changing them. Are you some kind of a caveman? At least dunk them in the river a few times. Ooh, they're angry. They're angered. I should have. I should have kept some more guys up here. Hey guys, up here is a cool place too, you know. The unexpected complexity of Oblivion's Goblin Wars, yeah. Oblivion's unexplained mechanic. Oblivion's craziest, how about this? Oblivion's craziest secret mechanic, how about that? Is that good for a Goblin Wars video? They can only play the Elder Scrolls Online Oblivion expansion. Oh no, that is a fate worse than death. I'd rather be dead than have to play Elder Scrolls Online. It's fine, it just isn't fun. Like, it's a game that functions, and you can do many things. But when I played it, I was like, wow, this is putting me to bed. I'm gonna get an early bedtime after engaging with this interactive experience. Wasps and ogres. Alright. I can do that. I can fend them off, I think. Where do the ogres come from? They come from downtown. All right, my towers can probably kill the wasps because they're just buzz buzz. I'll devote my troops down there. And I'm going to save some gold because I'm going to need some gold to buy the new castle. Yeah, kill that wasp. Well, the lightning bolt's pretty good against the wasp as well. Except it's not at all. I wonder if we'll add beers to the Oblivion remaster. Good question. Hopefully not. Keep it the way it is. Sky Oblivion might have beards. They can just use the built-in Skyrim beards. Okay, uh, 90 footmen? 90 footmen, oh my god. I'm not made of money, I can't kill 90 footmen. There goes my gold. I'm gonna go with the commander upgrade, actually. That sounds pretty good for these guys. For this particular foe we face. I can build more walls. I can build more perimeter defense. More perm def. Oh, I should've bought that. That would've been good. Okay, I'm not too confident in this setup. So let's do it. You know, just, just stay in the center, guys. Just stay here, honestly. I 
How's the south going? They got an extra tower in the south. Okay, all the 30 men, like, they attack piecemeal as well, which is good. If they all came at once, I'd be dead. No chance. Although a big clump is forming in the south. Beware the southern clump. That's what Shakespeare said. And he'll be fine. I got one crossbow guy down there. He's handling it. He's got it under control. Kill the ogre. Yeah, there we go. I hope they don't make the Fallout 3 of your master look like 476. It probably will. It'll probably be on that engine. AKA the ugliest graphics ever. Except the environments in 76 are good. Like the actual world map of 76 is really good. It makes me wish that it was just a single player game instead of being complete trash. Oh well. Should I build more walls? They got archers. Archers are pretty effectively stopped by walls. And they got 30, what are you, are you mines? They are fast rolling monsters that are not messing around. Oh man, the description specifically says they're not messing around. Here I was thinking they were just messing around the whole time. Boy, do I feel foolish. Well, wall time. I like this. I like this wall. This wall makes me feel safe. Look at the fortification. Look at the fortification. And I'll just put all these guys in the middle. And then they got to come in here. Once they finally get in, they're just going to get killed by all my guys. It's perfect. It's the flawless plan. Although they'll probably just run out and attack. Oh dear. Oh dear. Archers! Blast those archers, lightning bolt. Oh yeah. Did they implant the lightning bolt in the archer swarm? It's a bit of a suicide mission, but it's worth it. Oh, it's gonna be so worth it. Watch this. Watch this 10 plus KIAs. Oh baby. And that's where Ramirez. I hope they add games for Windows Live and Fallout 3 Remaster. Yeah, they should. For the authentic experience. For the first time, we're bringing back a feature that fans love and crave. All right, what is the gimmick here? Oh, this is just the econ round, I think, to let you like build up before the final onslaught. Because there's just five crappy guys. It's like a free round, basically. I think I just buy more soldiers for more flexibility. Yeah, we'll go Hunter. Build a tower. There's another uh, unit somewhere around here. Somewhere around here is more guys. There we go. We'll get some flail guys. I don't have any flail guys yet. I want them to use their flail. All right, vanquish these five guys. This one seems easier. Yeah, this is like the first actual level. Though the first zone is like the tutorial. This is the first actual level. That's why it's so much easier. I just wanted to test out the magic staff. But then this game is actually really fun, so I got sucked into playing a whole round on it. Hmm. It just looks like an all-hands-on-deck type battle. As long as I uh, reinforce well. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. My hands are on deck, after all. I don't have a steam deck, but otherwise. Might rely on my amazing leadership of the troops to make sure they're in the right place at the right time. Don't be in the wrong place at the wrong time. That would be disastrous. Oh, 
All hands on steam controller, yeah. Oh, whoa, these catapults totally blew up my towers, dude. I just paid those things off. Good thing I invested in some footmen. The towers are not gonna hold. All right, where's the next one coming from? There it is. Here, men, to me. And zap them. Zap those siege engines. Give them a good zapping. This is a really easy level because they only come like one at a time. If they all spawned in at once, then it'd be a little bit harder. Maybe they do with like a modifier on. A lot of difficulty modifiers in this game. It's like I'm playing Halo 3 with skulls on. You're watching Lasso Gaming. Ooh, upper wave and middle wave. Upper wave should be killed pretty simply. They suck. Oh crap, hang on. Oh, they're breaching, they're breaching my defenses. Hey, soldiers, wanna come defend your realm? Wanna come defend the nation? Okay, we're good. It wasn't a false alarm because the alarm was valid, but maybe it was an overblown alarm. Maybe it should have been like code two instead of code 10. I'd enjoy watching a lasso run on this channel. Yeah, I would not enjoy doing a lasso run on this channel. I attempted a Halo 3 lasso run many years ago and I got past the first level and I was like, I am never doing that again. <laughs> I'm not, there's no way I'm playing the whole game. Are you kidding me? Not gonna happen. Did solo legendary for all Halo 3? Yeah, hey, I did, everyone can do that. I mean, no, that's not true. It's an accomplishment to be a Halo 3 solo legendary. I have the achievement for uh, on Master Chief Collection for beat Halo 3 solo legendary in like three hours, I think. I think that's the time limit. I have that one. But Lasso is like, it's not even fun. What is Lasso? Lasso is legendary all skulls on which means you just make the game impossibly difficult. And it sucks. You can't even see your gun. New record, hey, 9,000 points, that's pretty good. That's considerable XP, big harbors. Harbor harbors can have more capacity, okay. Uh, fire archers, you unlocked a new upgrade path for your ranged units. Fire archers set the ground around their attack target on fire. Dealing damage over time, ooh. You know I love a good dot. Challenge the God of Destruction. Buildings only heal 25% of their health points every morning. Oh God, I don't know. That's horrible. All of your units have 80% health, but their training speed is reduced by 60. That could be worth it because they do more damage in the initial attack. How many levels are there, I wonder? I'm level 32, how high does the levels go? How high does this go? Is there even a way to tell? If I like hit play, keep playing to unlock this perk. Yeah, but like tell me what level it unlocks at. I don't know what the max level is. I'm not sure. All I know is this game is really, really, really good and fun. Very good game. When I first downloaded this game and I played that, I was like, this game's kind of fun. When I got here, I was like, ooh, this game's pretty good. When I got here, I'm like, oh, this game is real good. When I got here, I'm like, oh, this game's great. Then they added an extra map after it was already great. So now, I'm gonna be forced to give this game an F. F for fantastic.